Hello and welcome to Business Africa, your weekly update on the African economy. I am Nyasha K. Mutizwa. Our top stories this week. Cameroonian government to ban 50 imported products to favor local industry in several sectors. A newfound onshore oil field in the northern part of the Republic of Congo promises to quadruple the country's output. And we look at the African Development Bank's hopes to lure Chinese investment for the development of special agro-industrial processing zones across Africa. Cement, cosmetics, agri-food and brewery. Industries that could potentially be affected by an import ban in Cameroon. The country's trade ministry announced its intentions to suspend the importation of over 50 locally produced products as a way to boost local production. Hawa Suleimana and Naya Gomogomo have the details. In Cameroon, the importation of 50 products could soon be suspended due to production surplus. According to the Trade Ministry, cement, cosmetics, agribusiness brewery and palm oil derivative products, among others, would be affected. The ministry provided no timeline for this suspension, but it indicates that an exhaustive list will be published later. In March 2019, it asked the interpatronal groupings of Cameroon to collate a list of products whose importation should be suspended in order to protect local production and industry. This list is yet to be sent. At the same time, the Minister of Finance has announced measures to boost local production and keep the import of unnecessary products that deteriorate the country's balance of payments. According to the National Institute of Statistics, Cameroon imported up to six million US dollars in 2018, an increase of 11.5% compared to 2017. This amount represents more than half of Cameroon's import budget in 2019, which is estimated at 9 million US dollars. During the period under review, those imports were from 189 countries, 10 of which supplied 58.2% of the volume of imports. China led the way with 18.5%, followed by France, 8.3%, Nigeria, 5.6%, and the Netherlands, 4.8%. Two oil companies have discovered the first oil deposit in the northern part of the Republic of Congo. Exploration studies indicate that it could produce over 1 billion cubic meters of hydrocarbons, including 359 million barrels of oil, being 983,000 barrels per day. The firm's promise to quadruple the country's production. Ignatius Anor and Jean-David Mihamle with more. 1 billion 20,000 cubic meters of hydrocarbons, 25% of which is oil. These reserves will be contained in the Delta de la Couvert deposits in the village of Mekongo in the north of the Republic of Congo. I can confirm that we have reservoirs full of hydrocarbons. When we discovered them, we undertook production tests to evaluate the reserves and production. We are still drilling. It continues. And in the rubble, we still have the presence of hydrocarbons. The deposits is owned by the African Society for Petroleum Research and Distribution and the Petroleum Exploration and Production Africa. Both are owned by a wealthy Congolese businessman. This deposit is huge and it is the good Lord who has blessed Congo. Economically, it brings financial resources to our country. The challenge is how we manage and invest the resulting financial resources. Perhaps the greatest challenge is to ward off what is known in Africa as the oil curse. After the break, we hear more about the African Development Bank's intentions to attract more Chinese direct investment and partnerships with agribusinesses in order to develop special agro-industrial processing zones, or SAPs, across the continent. We'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you. 